Hey everyone, welcome back to another my tutorial. So today we're going to be doing something kind of interesting. We're going to be creating a sword from Dark Souls. Um, it is called uh, the Dark Souls Wee Hander or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, so I was trying to find some like proper images of it. And I, didn't, I couldn't really find any. It's just kind of hard. I mean, like some of these are weird, low resolutions. So I actually found, like, randomly on Sketchfab, um, someone made a, uh, like, 3D model of this, so I learned SketchUp, basically, really quickly, and, l and this is the top view, I, I rotated it, because it was all messed up, and now I have this, like, top view, and I put this into Imgur and cropped it, and I'm going to download this and use this as my blueprint, so it was kind of a bootleg thing to do, but, um, I'll just call this Dark Souls Sword. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're going to be using this, and as well as that, you know, I have I have um, this program, so I can just look at it. So, we're going to go into Maya now and add this to our top view. So, I'm going to go to my top view. I'm going to go to View, Image Plane, Import Image, and I'm going to go to wherever I saved it. And I might also make a... Um, uh, a texturing video on this in Substance Painter if I feel like it depends but anyways let's see what we have here so the sword is we could line this up a little bit better actually just so that this middle grid line is kind of like splitting the sword in half so kind of like that and then let's see how big this is we could even make this a bit bigger alright and then I'm also going to disable the grid so it's kind of easier to see this. And we're going to get started as well. I'm actually going to lower that down. So, um, I guess we could get started on the handle first. So it looks like we would just need a cylinder. So I just created a cylinder right there. I'm going to open up my channel box and I'm just going to press E. And then I'm going to hold down J to rotate at 15 degree intervals. And looking at my... Um, channel box are here. I want that to be 90. I mean, you can have negative 90, but I just, I don't know. I just don't like negatives. So, I'm going to just scale that down. You want to make sure you use the middle thing. And I'm going to go into x-ray mode. And I'm going to also make sure I'm actually recording myself. So, there's that. Um, and just scale this down to what that brownish thing looks like. So, if I take a look as well to use this um, also as a reference image, it's so hard to rotate in here, okay. Um, looks like we're just going to need to create a cylinder, add some th simple things, and that's about it for this piece, okay. So I'm going to select these vertexes and drag them up to like there and then also scale them out a little bit. And then I'm going to do a neat trick to just select these these faces right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag select the top ones and I'm gonna hold down shift and drag select those ones so that way if I go in here press F to focus um, if I press 4 to see my wireframe I just have those faces selected instead of having to manually select each one of those because you can't shift double click them so there's that you can press 5 to go back into shaded mode and from there I'm going to extrude this out to like to about like there. Um, this is kind of what we're doing right here, and then we're going to make this thing. So it seems that um, I could just extrude all the way to here and then just kind of scale that in. And then I'm going to select my multi cut tool, or you can also go to your modeling toolkit and click multi cut. And then I'm going to hold down control and just and shift to make an edge loop and just make one about there and I'm going to press Q to stop doing that select all my vertexes there and then just drag those out so that we kind of have that look going on kind of like how it looks in here and don't worry about the jagged edges we'll fix that once we smooth it but anyways I'm going to go back to my faces and I believe I have to reselect these now Okay. So I'm just going to drag select those and I'll hold down shift and drag select those. And I might scale this in a little bit more too. And then I'm going to control E to extrude. And if your keyboard isn't working, just go to edit mesh and then extrude, by the way. So I feel like this is 
a bit too big looking at my reference. So I'm going to just put this down a little bit to like that or something. And then just kind of looking at the lines right here. Don't worry about those other things. It was just the anti aliasing things. So I can just extrude this out as well. Scale it in a little bit. Get some more shape in our handle. Maybe to about there. And then let's see what we're going with. So extrude this out to like there. Then the other, the bottom part of our handle we will create. Alright. But then we also, it seems there is another one of those little things. So let's see. Let's maybe look, look at my reference. Um, Alright. So it seems kind of hard to see. Right about there, we're going to do that same thing I did before. So I'm going to hold down control. Let's see, actually, where is it? It's, yeah, okay. I'm not going to hold down control and just add some edge loops to there. And then I'm going to select all those vertexes. And then let's just see it here. Go away, random people. Um, I'm just going to scale those out to, like, there. Okay. So that looks pretty. I'm going to close Discord. Uh, sorry about those annoying people. Okay. So, um, and now we have those pieces, and let's see. I feel like this piece, or easier to just select it in this view. This piece right here, I could maybe drag it out a bit more, and then drag that out. Okay. So now let's work on the other side of here. So I might just drag this down to like there where we have another one that seems like this thing right here. So I'm going to select those faces again doing that simple trick and just extrude it down to there and then I'm also actually just going to finish this by extruding down into there. Okay. Then I feel like these vertices are a bit high as well so I'll push those down and then let's create another edge loop so I'm just going to select that multi cut tool again control shift and then um, just select all of those and then extrude those out so we have that kind of shape um, kind of hard to see right now but if these were smoothed we would be able to see it better so see if I can kind of get that look there yeah alright actually don't quite like how far that thing is from the middle. So I'm going to go back to here and try and position this a bit more in the middle and maybe a bit less crazy too. Let's see here. Make it a bit smaller. And then these actually need to be um, make it look a bit better about on the same angle as the top ones there. That way it'll actually like pop out. Okay. I'm pressing 3 to preview the smooth, by the way. So that looks pretty good. I like that. I'm going to save my um, store already. So I'm just going to go to wherever I want to save this. And I'm just going to call this uh, Dark Souls ZW EI Hander. Okay, what a weird name. I don't know how to pronounce that. Alright, make sure I'm still recording. Perfect. And let's see. Um, I think that'll do it for the first uh, modeling part to this. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good looking. So I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to pick off right where I end. Bye.